Now we begin with the continuing violence in Myanmar. The UN says at least 54 people have died during the protests in Myanmar due to increased violence against anti-coup protesters. As the bloodshed continues, the UN is calling for strong action against the country's military to end its stranglehold over the country. Our Kim Hyo Sun starts off. Senior UN diplomats are calling for strong action against Myanmar's military rulers, including the urgent implementation of a global arms embargo and economic sanctions. In a new report, Tom Andrews, special rapporteur on the situation of human rights in Myanmar, stated that the UN Security Council should consider such actions, condemning the military's seizure of power. The UN Secretary General's special envoy to Myanmar also raised the alarm over a brutal and dramatic escalation of violence targeting anti-coup protesters. So every tools available are needed now to stop this situation and that uh, we need now a unity of the international community. This comes as the UN Human Rights Office announced Thursday that at least 54 people have been killed by police and military officials since the coup started, adding the actual death toll could be even higher. Stressing it's time to turn the tables toward justice, the office added over 1,700 people have been arbitrarily detained, with the number going up day after day. Amid the continued bloodshed, many foreigners residing in Myanmar are fleeing. According to media outlets in Vietnam, nearly 400 Vietnamese returned from Myanmar on Thursday. The Singapore government is also urging some 500 of its nationals currently living in Myanmar to leave as soon as possible. Kim Yo-san, Arirang News.